visuals that we are getting out of Mohammad Azuruddin voting. You were earlier telling us one of the VIP uh, candidates in in uh, the, in your city is Azuruddin. He is now uh, voted. Uh, continue talking to us about uh, what what you were saying about deep fake, but also weave in into your conversation the impact of Azuruddin and him getting the ticket. Well, Mohammad Azaruddin is uh, making his debut as far as Telangana state politics is concerned. Remember, he contested unsuccessfully from Tong, was an MP from uh, uh, from uh, this uh, was an MP in the past, in fact. Uh, but uh, as far as uh, his election, okay, Swastika, uh, give me a second. Azaruddin is, is speaking to the media. He, I'll come back to you. Let's listen in first. <laughs> लड़ाई झगड़ों से दूर रहे से दूर रहे आर यू रीडिंग बिटवीन द लाइंस देयर स्वास्थ्य का Well, uh, as I was mentioning, he contest. He was an MP from Moradabad. He's been with the Congress since then. Unsuccessfully contested from uh, Tonk. Uh, now he has made his foray into the state politics. In fact, in my earlier interview, I asked him, "Why did you decide to contest into the elections, considering you have been inactive in the politics?" Mr. Azaruddin says that he lives in Jubilee Hills constituency, and he has been led down by the development work, so-called development work, uh, carried out by uh, the BRS. But he is facing a tough candidate, uh, Maghanti Gopal. not from the brs has been a strong mla from that region uh, and mr azuruddin has a lot of odds against him at this point in time because he's relatively new as far as jubilee hills constituency is concerned and also the fact that he is the muslim face of the congress in fact uh, this is one constituency where minority voters could in fact sway the elections though minorities in fact last time around voted en masse for the brs candidate mm. Mm. this time around uh, azuruddin uh, hopes to dent their prospect but let's not forget the mim2 is on uh, is in the fray and uh, in fact uh, challenging uh, azuruddin there is mr um, asaduddin owaisi in fact who said that azuruddin should stick to cricket is a fantastic cricketer but he's a failed politician that's going to be a key constituency to walk, watch out for also the most expensive constituency let's not forget about that yes yeah, so we are calling this a semi final ahead of the 2024 lok sabha elections will the former india cricket captain manage to hit a six uh, and who who will uh, you know his presence really benefit in the rest of the state to 